As you can see from the thumbnail of the video, this is going to be a video about replacing the plug on the end of a cord. Now my puppy late one night decided to eat through my heater cord and my fan cord. Luckily these were unplugged, so there was no damage done to the dog, but as you can obviously see, my plugs are chewed through and ruined. So I'm going to show you how to replace the plug on the end of your cord without any splicing with tools that I know you have in your house right now. And I'll also show you how to use some tools that you might not have if you want to get those in the future. This is a very simple job. These plugs cost two, three dollars at your local hardware store. So it's a very easy and cheap fix to not have to replace an actual appliance. As for tools being used, we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to use electrical strippers. If you don't have these, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to use a pair of scissors and an X-Acto blade to repair the end of the cord by putting a new plug on there. Yeti, what are you doing? So next we'll go over what type of plug we need, the wiring, and then we'll get into repairing the project. Okay, now on to the plugs that we're going to need for this project. So as you can tell, this is my heater, this is my fan, and these are both two prong plugs. Now, so I need to replace them with a two prong plug. So you can get a three prong plug or a two prong plug from your harbor store. The three prong plug just has a third grounding plug, but I wanna show you on the inside how it looks. There's a green screw, a silver screw, and a brass screw. The brass is always your hot, the silver is always your neutral, and the green is always your ground. It follows the same concept as an outlet. We have a brass for hot, and it corresponds to this side of the outlet. Then you have a silver, which is your neutral, corresponds to this side of the outlet, and then green for ground. Now, I don't need to use the three prong, so I'll put off the side, but I'll use my two prong. And the two prong, as you can tell on the inside, has a brass for hot and a silver for neutral. So now how do I know I have my wire hooked up to the right terminals on this plug? Well, that's easy too. So if you turn it around, you can see that the plug has a fat prong and a skinny prong. The fat prong is gonna always uh, align with your silver or your neutral um, screw. And you can verify that by taking an outlet and plugging the fat side, obviously you can only go into the fat side of your outlet, and that corresponds silver to silver. So on your cable, this is the easy one to see, the fat screw, or the, the fat prong, is still attached, okay? And the skinny side is separated. Now on a wire, on all these cables, you'll have a smooth side that goes down the whole length, and you'll have a side that has raised lines on it, which is this side. And if you follow it up, that raised side on this cable goes to the fat side of my plug. On this one here, the dog completely chewed through it, but I opened the plug up just to, just to verify one more time. This one has a smooth side as well, and then a raised side on this side. The raised side is on the fat end of the plug. So I know that this is gonna be my neutral, my silver, the lines, the lines, and then the smooth is gonna be my hot or my brass or bronze screw. So now that we got that figured out, now we can safely connect the plug to the appliance and have no electrical worry. Okay, now for the repair of the black cable. So I'm gonna take my scissors, household scissors, like I said, and just cut off the damaged area from the rest of it. Household scissors work perfect for this, okay? So get that off to the side. And then, like I said before, we're going to uh, land our striped to our neutral silver and then our smooth to our brass. So now how much wire do we need to put in here? So as you can see, um, about that much is gonna be good. A little extra doesn't hurt anything on this. So I'm gonna make a mark right about there with my thumb. Reason being is because the cable comes in and then it goes this way 
and it goes this way, so it splits. So at the mark that I just made, I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm gonna score the middle of that cable, and that separates both of these nicely. So now, if you have a pair of strippers, go ahead, set this in here, and kind of rotate this, and you can see that it kind of moves those screws more towards that cable, towards the end of the plug. And you're gonna make a mark just kind of where the screw hits the um, wire. So right about there is where I wanna do it. So like I said, if you have strippers, put it on the 14 hole. So I think this is 14 gauge wire. And then just chomp through it, go all the way around. And then um, you can push or yeah, push on it or pull on it, and that exposes the, the, the copper wire, as you can see right there, and then just give it a few good twists to keep it all intact. Now, if you don't have a pair of strippers, you can use your X-Acto blade, and you can score it around this side, all the way around. Just don't go all the way through the wire, because you can cut it through. And then just verify that you actually have copper showing. I need to go a little bit harder on it. Okay, so once you think you have copper showing, which I do, now take your knife again and go down the center of the wire all the way down to the end. Okay, there you go. Once that's done, you can actually take your fingernails and you can separate exposing the copper like that and then just pull it out of there and then it should release the insulation and then again take your wire and just give it a few good twists okay so once that's done now we can actually apply it to our screws. So you wanna apply this in a righty, tidy method that screws down the screws. And you wanna put your, um, you wanna make your wraps around your uh, screws in a clockwise motion. So as you're tightening, it, tightening the screw, you're actually tightening on the wire itself. So again, make sure you have the correct side, smooth on bronze, and just go around it Go around your screw like that, and then we're gonna tighten down on it. Like so. Other way with the silver. We're gonna go clockwise again with it. So as you're tightening it, it tightens down on the copper. Okay, so once you have all that done, See how there's a lot more copper showing right here? Just take your scissors and just snip it off. This copper is very easy to um, cut, so it should be no problem with just a regular pair of scissors, or you can use your pair of um, uh, strippers if, if you need to, but I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors. Okay, so that's all cut off. Now also ensure that no wire is going from this terminal to this terminal, because you don't want to have that short out. So it looks good. So now I will take this and rotate it back, and you should see that it will fit nice in that space provided that I showed you guys before, how you gotta separate it, just like that. Okay, so then you're gonna take your plug, you're gonna close it on, and you're gonna take your screw, wherever I put it, somewhere around here, here it is. You're gonna tighten down on the plug. And as you see, there's separation there, but as you tighten this down, it's gonna clamp on that wire and it's gonna close up that gap. So now, if you follow this out, the striped or the lined side of your cable is on your fat side of your outlet. I went ahead and I replaced the white cord with a new plug the same way that I did the black cord with a plug.
So as you can see, this job was really easy. It took only three or four minutes to complete, and it cost about $3 per appliance to get them back to a normal working operation. And this is a permanent fix. So hopefully your dog, you're down there sleeping, in the middle of the night doesn't ruin your plug again. But if he does, you know how to fix it. So I want to thank you for watching the video. Subscribe for more how-to videos in the future. Leave a thumbs up. And if you have a question or a comment, make sure you submit that down below. Again, thanks for watching.